everybody. I'm James Savalski, and the home team will look to extend their winning streak and keep the fans pumping. Great energy, both. along the boards. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Thunderous hit in the wall. Hits a little much trying to gain a step. He's clear. Can't get that one to go. Oh, it's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get this. is in a ready position and makes a nice save. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Receives the pass. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And he feeds it down to Brink. Anaheim's cut it along the wall. Pass it to the middle. Oh, what a chance and that goes off target. Anaheim's got it now. Denies him in close. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get it. I just love this power play, James. It's not just about skill, but you have to have the work at 
and to be able to retrieve the puck as well. You've got to be harder on it than your opponent. And they get the PK running around. Absolute mayhem. And then eventually it goes in. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Anaheim's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Crosby's won the draw at center. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Tries to get it to Emroff. And now he moves it quickly to Johns. And that's picked off by Rust. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Ducks have it now. And he keeps possession. Pass back to the point. The Penguins have it now. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. And he takes the dish. He got all of that one. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to champion. Cutting to the front of the net. Scores! Lucky, lucky, he continues to light the lamp. Well, that's 25 goals, James, and it ain't easy to score in this league, but he has found the back of the net in different ways that many times. It's also his awareness, knowing where the opponents are and how to manipulate them. But what he does best is give this gift to his teammate who finishes it off with a goal. The Ducks are dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. Nice job tying up his opponent. Takes it at center. Looks to get the puck over to Niskanen. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Boldy. Stop that one. Richards in the corner now. Here's a pass down low. Center and pass! It scores! What an opportunity! It delivers! First jersey, team stores got you covered. Physical online. Quick pass to Niskanen. Slides the puck down low. Anaheim's gonna play it from the corner. And that pass is redirected. Slides it quickly to Beauvillier. Puck battle along the boards. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Poked away at center by Latang. And he moves it up to Nash. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Takes it across the blue line. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Oh, great play to sidestep the poke check. Puck dumped in. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Hayes picking up steam. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. And they'll dump it in. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Poulin's picking up steam. Moves into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Pedersen's been showing some frustration. You know, when you want to contribute as an athlete, especially when you have a strong skill set, and then you're in a pointless streak, man, the frustration grows, and it builds, and you start to squeeze the tech tight. 
swoops in and grabs the puck with the centers tied up in the scrum on the draw. Pokes it away in his own end. Takes the return feed. Feeds it over to Crosby. Takes the puck at the point. Quick feed down low. Oh, just a great heads up play by Dolly. And that's off target as it hits a body. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Anaheim's brought their A game here to the rink tonight. They lead it comfortably as we near the end of the first. Ellers won the draw and they're on the attack. Quick pass to Boldy. And he'll take a quick moment to regroup by moving the puck back inside his own end. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Silverberg's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. Broken up at center. Here's a short pass to Ajo. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Ducks will play it against the boards. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Boldy. The fans desperately urging for them to shoot before the clock winds down. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store. And we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice. because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Penguins had nothing in that opening frame, James, and they need to find something, just some momentum to build off of. I mean, they weren't dialed in, they weren't ready from puck drop, no sense of urgency. All of it has to change. I mean, they're getting blown out of the water right now. Anaheim's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Pittsburgh's going to start with the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Loose it to Johns. And it's a quick pass to Enroth. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Poked away in the defensive end. Tries to get the puck over to Latang. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Ducks came out with jump, and they have been non-stop right from the start, leading 4-0. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Pass out front. Hands it off the crossbar. Quick shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Dumps the puck in. The Ducks gain possession. And Ross got the puck in his own zone. Sends a pass over. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Quick feed to Hayes. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Slides the puck over. Bufflin's got the puck, and he is reminded of his overtime heroics by this crowd right now. Yeah, and he's being fueled by them right now. I think there's an urgency. I thought he saw an uptick in his speed there, James, recognizing that the puck is on his stick, and he's driving towards the net. The Ducks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. And the puck's kicked free. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Goes right to the crease. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. 
Well, he's extremely dangerous when he has the puck on his stick. He's like a magician, and it's on a string. This time, though, the goaltender shuts him down. Moves it quickly over to Brink. And he coughs it up with the pass. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Along the half wall with the puck. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Feeds it over. Stones him with the blocker. Jari's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to... Break away! Oh, the play! Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. And a great save! Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Cheryl, the name of the game is winning, but you got to think ownership's loving these packed houses night after night after night. Show me the money, James. The concessions are lined up, and you can certainly see the colors of the team being worn by all of these people in the seats. you got to believe this franchise is pretty happy. And it's hooked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Reach with the puck check. And the puck skips away after that move. Wallace looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Oh, look at this chance. Turned aside with the glove by Jari. Anaheim's dominated right from the start. Their offense clipping on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Rossi's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. A chance of the rush here! Into the offensive zone! A shot! Denied on the play! Oh, wow! Quick pass to Tippett. Takes the feed. Drives to the sweet spot! And it's stopped by the glove! Nice play there! More than half the period has expired. It's been demolition derby night. 4 nothing is where we sit. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Scores! There's an in goal! This is why you practice that play, James. You're in the offensive zone, and you got to make the most of it with a key win. Everyone knows their responsibilities. They take it to the net, and it's a great goal. Accelerator here in the offensive zone tonight. They've been incredible almost through two periods of play here. I mean, their ozone possession time is dictating it all. The ability to get to the net and, of course, the motion on the outside, which is disrupting the coverage and opening up the lanes. Good hit to bump him off the puck. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Hayes. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Wait a second here, James. The official is saying no goal. Now, he went off something. I believe it was the skate in front. It can bounce off of it, but there can't be an intentional kicking motion. They'll go upstairs and have a look at it. The official's call is going to be overturned here, James. They speak to the war room, come back on the ice. It's going to be overturned. The away team gets a good goal. This switches momentum in their favor, as you can see their bench emphatically cheering. Anaheim's won the faceoff at center. Makes his presence known on the ice. Fires it. Oh, slick work with the club by Natelkovich. lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Into the offensive zone. And somehow he hangs on. 
Hayes makes an impressive play right there, James. His tenacity certainly shows as it looks like he's down and out as he stumbles, but his athleticism holds on to that puck even though he has a lack of balance. He makes a nice pass which leads to a scoring chance. The Penguins are across the line and into the offensive end. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. And he slides it quickly to Eller. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Sends it down low. Handles the pass. Oh, and he's just got enough of that to keep it out. And that pass is intercepted. From the right side, he goes to the... All alone! Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Hell, you got it! He scores! Sometimes he makes his way to the net, James, and I'm not even sure how he got there. He knows how to create space for himself, even when it feels like it's limited. He finds the room to dangle his way to the net. The Ducks are showing no signs of slowing down, and here we are in the late stages of period number two. They continue to hit down the accelerator. Yeah, and the coach must be loving this. I mean, sometimes you can't put your finger on exactly why it's working the way it is, but the chemistry is off the charts here, and they've got to come to the lead. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Sends it over to Power. Here's a short pass to Darlene. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Can't get it to go. Unloads it. Oh, how did he get it? Go on that. What a stop by the top of it. This is such a quick shot that comes from the spot that you have to have good reflexes to be able to make that club save. The Ducks with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Rust's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, they telegraph. He scores! And Gino! a great goal, James, and just reiterates that in today's game, the hands are separate from the body. He's stumbling and still has his eyes on the puck, not in the greatest position, but manages to get a shot off that beats the tender. Pittsburgh's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off when you get a goal. You can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Moves it to Malkin. Denies him! Chris has been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point playing save. To period number two, still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Ducks have been fantastic through 40 minutes of play, James. They've been good on both sides of the puck. They've gotten themselves a comfortable lead. Now it's about protecting it. You still want to push when you have the puck, but you have to be in good spots to protect defensively. we got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Johns is being served two for boarding. The Penguins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Grips it and rips it! Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one! And that's knocked away. Anaheim's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Oh, he absolutely crushed him in the corner. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. 
moves it to the middle, and that's blocked in front. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Bufflin's attempt to clear goes into the crowd. He's going to get two for delay a game. Pittsburgh's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one guy, you still have the man advantage. Quick feed to Crosby. Oh, and he denies him with a fantastic stop there. Chris is able to make that save look easy, James. It's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. Cops set possession of the puck. They clear the zone. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Good check, frees the puck up. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Crosby. Here's a shot. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. And a successful clearing attempt. Anaheim's penalty killers get a hold of it. Puck hops onto the bench, and we got a stoppage in play. Hayes is ready for the face-off as we are about to resume this power play. Anaheim's won the draw in the neutral zone. Slides it across! Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Loses the coverage there. Hayes setting up against the wall. Passes it over. And he's got that one. And the puck's booted away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. They put the puck into the offensive end. Johns has served his time in the box, but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the penalty kill. The Penguins have the puck in the corner. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Ready for the draw on this man advantage. Richards has won the draw inside his own end. Puck clears the zone. The Penguins have it now. This power play only has time for one more rush. They'll have to play with urgency and not just skate the puck, but move it fast. Chris is going to wait for the whistle, and I don't mind this strategy here, Cheryl. Me neither. I mean, he's having himself a game, isn't he, James? He has been dominant between the pipes, and he knows he needs to pounce on this puck. He looks up at the game clock. They're winning. Not much time left in the third. they got to figure out a way to play it safe. Michaels won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Snapper from the slot. Makes the save with the goal. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Anaheim's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. They win the draw and go on the attack. And he takes the pass. Takes the pass from the left wing. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Big save. Great reach with the poke check by Grislyk. Moves it over to Eller. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. The Ducks have it from their own end. Takes a shot. Oh, that goes off his mask. You might see that's using his head. Battle for that loose puck along the boards. Aho stick handling in his own zone. The Ducks take over on possession. Still has possession. Puts it in deep. Good solid check, and he loses control of it. Takes a shot with the stop. That's a solid hit. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Poked away at center ice. A 
across the line down the left wall. Here's a pass in front. Oh, and he keeps it here. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow. The Ducks have it against the wall. Pokes the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Graves. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. And he loses control here. He's got a step. What a save on the play. Uh, it's a timely save. And it's going to score. Oh, wow. My goodness, what a finish. Well, that puck's on his stick, James. You know that he's a magician. And he can deep his way to the net like he does just there. But we all know that he's got great hands, James. The way the puck moves on his stick, it's like on a string. But it's also his awareness, the way he scans and how he knows how to manipulate create space for himself. That's how he gets himself to the net. And then he finishes it off by beating the goaltender. The Ducks are having themselves a night, and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Now a quick pass to Raquel. Cross the line and gain the zone. And the puck leaves the zone. Picked up along the boards by Latang. And it's a quick pass to Crosby. Slides the puck to Faber. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Richards. And he slides it quickly to Nash. Poked away by Latang. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. And that's intercepted by Power. Breakaway! Stopped on the breakaway! What a save he made there! Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. The Ducks are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. Rossi's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Dishes it off! Beats it over! Simple glove save by Nedeljkovic. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Anaheim's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. The Penguins start with the puck in their own end. Puck moved over to Latang. Crosby's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Quick feed to Tippett. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Oh, what a save in front! What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The Ducks have treated tonight like a shooting gallery and are in cruise control late in the third. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Handles the puck. Blocker save. Here's a short pass to Johns. Anaheim's got it now. Here's a chance in front. Moves it again. Another pass. Dishes it off again here. Another pass. And another pass. Couldn't complete the pass. Look at that. Hit, maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Feeds the puck across to Faber. And now it's grabbed by Johns. Into the corner of the attacking area. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Faber's taking it from his own end. Great stretch pass as he connects. Textbook stop by Nedeljkovic. Dishes up to Eller. Nieto's gained the line and on the attack. Shot scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build out that last shift.
coach recognized that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Niskanen's lugging the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it to Raquel. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. And that's just out of reach. Drills him. After that huge hit, he is just struggling to get off of the ice, James. And the body language says it all as he's all hunched over. You know that the medical staff, well, they'll meet him on the bench. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory.